friends, this is Beverly Black. And how is everyone doing today? I pray that everybody is blessed and prosperous and doing well. Today, we're going to make a peach cobbler. I have had a lot of uh, my family members here ask for a easy peach cobbler. And this is one of the best easy peach cobbler or any kind of cobbler you want to make recipe. What we're going to start off with is one cup. I have unsalted butter here. Not one cup, I'm sorry. One stick. And I'm going to put it in the oven. And I have my oven preheated at 350 degrees. We will need one can of sliced peaches and heavy cream. You can use two small cans of one large. This is a 29 ounce can. Or you can do, use two smaller ones. And get sliced and heavy cream and heavy syrup. Oh Lord. One cup of milk. You will need one cup of sugar and one cup of self-rising flour. Whatever brand you like, I just like White Lily. So that's the brand I'm using today. I have the one cup of um, sugar and flour already mixed here together. And what we're gonna mix this up while the butter is um, melting in the oven, we are going to mix this one cup of milk into this mixture. Now some people, they don't like it as doughy, so they will use like a 3 4 cup of flour, a 3 4 cup of sugar, a 3 4 cup of milk. But I'm using it as the old recipe says. Now this recipe is very, very old. It's one cup, one cup of flour, one cup of sugar, and one cup of milk. It is easy, very easy to make. But I'm gonna be putting my own little sparks of taste into it. And we're gonna mix the flour and the sugar and the sugar up. You will have some lumps. It will be, um, see how the mixture is? It's thin. Don't worry about it. That's the way it is supposed to look. It's supposed to be thin like this, thin. And if you have some lumps in it, don't worry about the lumps. They will come out when it is baking. Everything will come together. Get that ice cream together, whipped cream, or whatever you like to put on top of your cobblers. Your family is gonna be thinking, oh, she went in that kitchen and showed out. She has made a peach cobbler. So let's check and see how the um, butter is melted. And it's coming along. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to in this mixture, I'm just going to put just a little tad of vanilla. A little vanilla. You can pour how much you want or you don't have to pour any at all. And I'm just putting a little tap in there. Put that to the side. Give it a little more flavor. Okay, the stick of butter has melted. Now we're going to pour the flour, sugar, and the milk mixture. Pour it in. Spatula, give it this 
Some of it stuck to the bottom. Just mix it in with the rest when you run into that. No problem. Okay, we have the flour mixture in. Now we're going to pour the can of the peaches in on top. In with the juice. Try to, because the juice will come out first, so try to put it all around. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on top of this, just a little bit. Now we're getting ready to put this in the oven for 45 to 55 minutes or until it's golden brown and I'll be back. The cobbler is out of the oven. It cooked for one hour on 350. For those who don't know how to make a cobbler, here is your easy cobbler recipe. One cup of self rising flour, one cup of sugar, one cup of milk, one stick of butter, and a 29 ounce can of peaches. So let's see what's going on here. Let's scoot out. Look at all that juice. Get you some ice cream and you are good to go. Look at that goodness. You see it's still smoking, it's still hot. This is a very easy peach cobbler to make. So please make sure that you try it. Try it, you might like it, and I'm quite sure you will. This is the best. Put some ice cream right here. It's too hot right now, but I just wanted you to see how it does look. Thank you everyone for coming by, for sharing with me, for being here with me today. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure that you hit that red subscribe button. And if you like what you see, what you have seen, hit that thanks button and leave a token to help this channel to grow and progress even more. I want to say it again. I love you, but God loves you more. Why? Because you are his masterpiece. Be blessed, everyone. Bye-bye.